Hey, welcome to today's video. I'm Prof. Omar, and today we're going to solve a problem on the GRE Math Subject Test Practice Book. We actually have the answers to the question here, and it's a quite complicated integral that about a third of contestants were able to actually uh, solve correctly. Uh, so the question is to evaluate the integral from zero to infinity of this expression here, which you notice is a function of x, but that has these constants a and b everywhere. And you want to evaluate it in terms of a and b, given that a and b are positive numbers. And here are the different answer choices. So we'll go ahead and try to do this um, and see what we can come up with. So I think the first observation you make is this problem looks kind of complicated. Um, the integral that you're asked to deal with uh, doesn't seem amenable to like a substitution. The sum of the, the product of these two things here doesn't look like it appears in the numerator. So it's not clear what to do at face value. But what I'll do is notice we have terms that reappear, right? So a, e to the ax and e to the ax, e to the bx and e to the bx. So I'm gonna make a substitution, not an integration substitution, but just a substitution of variables to just get a sense of what this expression really is. So if I make u to be this one and v to be this, then this expression is u minus v over the quantity one plus u times the quantity one plus v. So maybe there's another way to rewrite this that'll make this a little bit more transparent or maybe more manageable to integrate. Uh, all right, um, so we have the product of two things here and you notice that if I take one of them like this one here and subtract this one, I get the numerator. So this is, suggests to maybe rewrite this as a sum of two fractions and we know that if we do this, then the common denominator is their product and figure out the numerator, we need to multiply whatever we have here by this and add whatever we have here by this. Um, so if we multiply this and we want a negative v, it would make sense to have a negative one here. And luckily that the negative one times this one would balance this one here times a one on the numerator here. So if we multiply these two, we get one plus u. Here we get negative one minus v. So together we would get u minus v. And so we can rewrite this integral that we started with as the integral from zero to infinity of negative one over one plus u, u is e a to the x, plus one over 1 plus v. And this is dx. Now luckily the answers in this problem suggest that each of these individual integrals actually converges, even though we have the infinity here. Um, we don't have an answer choice like the integral doesn't exist. So I'm going to actually split these two integrals into two pieces. Um, We'll take the negative out of this one and then add the other integral. So this is a dx plus this. And you notice the effective integrals we have to calculate are the same except for that our exponents change from a to b. So we'll just figure out one of them and see what we come up with. So let's work on this right hand one. It's the integral from zero to infinity of one over one plus e to the bx. Now when you look at this integral, it kind of looks like uh, we don't have much options for what to do. Like the denominator's derivative is not the top. It'd be nice if we had like a exponential floating somewhere to work with. And we can kind of get that by doing um, this interesting idea of factoring out an e to the bx in the numerator and the denominator. So the reason to do that is it forces an exponential in the numerator while still leaving an exponential in the denominator. If we do that and divide these e to the bx's, now we have an integral that's more manageable to deal with. Right, you notice that the derivative of the bottom is a constant multiple times the, the thing on the top. So if you make a substitution, 
letting, I guess I used u before, so maybe I'll let y be e to the negative bx plus one, then dy is negative b e to the negative bx dx. And so this integral becomes the integral from, we'll leave the bounds as they are from now, is gonna be dy and we have a y in the denominator. Uh, and then in the numerator, we'll have a negative b, uh, negative one over b. Because negative e to the, e to the negative bx dx is uh, dy over negative b. So we'll have a one over negative b here. Now our bounds, when y is, when x is zero, this here becomes a one. So y has a lower bound here of two. And at infinity, what happens? We have uh, that this thing goes to zero. And so we have an upper bound of one. And we can switch this to the integral from one to two of one over b y dy. Okay, so that's one over b times the integral from one to two of one over y dy, uh, which is ln of two minus ln of one. ln of one is zero, so this works out to one over b ln of two. Okay, great. So one over b ln of two is this integral. That means this, so I'll write that here, 1 over b ln of 2. And here, we'll get the same thing with b replaced with a and a negative. So negative 1 over a ln of 2. And so our integral is the sum of these two things. And the only one that looks like it's a candidate for something like this is this last one, e. Uh, and that actually does work out if we add these two fractions. Right, this is one over b minus one over a. All right, great. Um, so a few things about this. First of all, the strategy of multiplying an exponential um, to force a substitution possible is one trick that's very useful on the GRE mass subject test. Another thing is if you see variables repeated, separate them to be able to separate the integral into something like these. And then also be careful with the bounds, right? If we didn't get this correct here, if we put in a negative b instead of a negative one over b, we'd get one of the answers up here. I think d if we did that. So we have to be careful about these things. Okay, great. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, click the like button. And if you wanna see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications.